Welcome to Wild Biz Weekly. My name is Lynn Hinderocker, and this is one of our greatest events together. You are participating as you watch this and the entire WildBizTV.com website, participating in a, in a revolution of sorts. You'll understand that soon as I introduce you to three of my guests today. It's a fabulous event, a great production, and you, you as a, uh, as a participant, as a uh, viewer of this show, uh, are, are actually a part of it. You can be a part of the community, you can be part of the network. We encourage you to sign up and be a member of the Wow Biz community. Anyway, our, my first guest today, very exciting. You know, the Chamber of Commerce here in Omaha in the last six, eight, ten years, particularly the last eight or so since David Brown took over, has done a fabulous job in evolving the community and really taking the business community to the next level. Part of that, of course, is, is in, in membership, growing the membership, getting more people involved, as well as the By the Big O Show, which we talked about recently on our last Wow Biz Weekly. So I'd like you to welcome Jim Butler, a gentleman very much involved in all of this, Mr. Jim Butler from the Chamber of Commerce, everybody. Hey, Jim. Hey, how are you? Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. You've got momentum over there. A lot of cool things are happening. First of all, how long have you been with the Chamber? It seems like a while, but it hasn't been forever. Not too long. I joined in January of 2009, so I'm just about uh, four years in. Okay, terrific. Because I, I know there's been a real kick up, but you joined at a time with a recession, and so not yes. an easy thing to do to keep that momentum going during a recession. Huh? No, it's been very exciting, and I'll tell you, in all the places I've been, I've never worked any place that was as high energy yeah. and exciting as the chamber is. Well, that's that's a great thing. You know, we've got a lot of Creighton business students in the audience, and they're looking for vocations that are fulfilling and exciting sure. and kind of give them a sense of velocity. So, obviously, a chamber position or something comparable would be sure. probably get them uh, on the right track. Yeah, it can be great fun. For Absolutely. Everybody. We're going to talk about the boss subset. A lot of people don't know about boss yet as a, as a subset within the overall membership. Uh -huh. But before we do that, let's recap the 2000. 2012 by the Big O Show. Uh, Larry Gomez was uh, was here recently. Right. How did it How did it unfold? How was it? Well, you know what? It, it, as it turned out, and we, and we're just finalizing all of our, you know, all the information. But sure. it, it looks like it may be the best Big O Show we've ever. Is had. that right? Yeah, we had about 4,500 participants on top of the 300 booths that we had. So participants would be people that are coming. The attendees. attendees that's okay. Right. All yep. right. And how many How many uh, booths? Uh, about 300. 300 exhibitors. A little over 300 exhibitors. And you had a lot of seminars too, right? Oh, we did. We had seminars. We had opportunities to meet with board members, uh, chamber board members, okay. all those kinds of things. So it was very exciting. But we, we added a couple of things this year. First of all, we were allowed the, the uh, folks that had the booths to sell merchandise. I heard about new. this. Now, are we talking about smartphone payment systems and so on? Is that what we're Just discussing? about anything that they wanted to sell except for food items. I mean, did they have old-fashioned cash registers sitting around? No, you I know, don't. they, they did <laughs> I don't think so. You know, um, I think most of it was probably credit card type of activity, sure. credit sure, activity. Sure. But but I do know that there were a couple of great, great sales. One was a $10,000 sale, uh, which resulted from the Big O Show. How about a round of applause for a $10,000 yeah, sale yeah. out of a booth now. Out of yeah. a booth. Yeah. That, that, that's unprecedented. And then just the opportunity to develop some new relationships. Uh, we had one, one company, for example, that generated 23 quality leads, and they compared that against other shows that might be two or three days, and sure. of course Big O Show is one day. Yes, yes. And some of these other shows, they might get eight or ten out of that three-day period. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we were pretty excited about the overall activity. Yeah, lead, lead generation is huge. Yep. Just to get publicity and awareness is a, is a great step forward, but to get solid uh, prospects, sales yes. prospects? Unbelievable. And this is our 21st year, so we've been doing this a while. That's what we heard. Well, listen, let's shift the, the topic briefly to BOSS for a okay. second, okay? Now, I know David Brown is deeply involved in that, but why don't you just give us a brief... In, what is BOSS? Does it stand okay. for something, or how does that go? It does. Uh, BOSS stands for Business Owner Success Series. It's a, it's a program that we created to bring business owners, presidents, and CEOs together throughout the year, and we'll create a, a dozen or more opportunities to bring these people together. We try to do it at, at uh, different and unusual venues. I know you went to the zoo once. We've been to the zoo this year. We've been to the OPPD nuclear power plant. Uh, we've been to the Holland Performing Arts Center. So we try to do stuff that you might not normally have an opportunity to do. And, and I just have to interject. We know now, research has proven that if you, if you put your people in a different environment, it's much easier to stimulate innovative thinking and out-of-the-box ideas, especially when you're interacting with diverse people you don't normally talk to. Yes. So these are great hotbeds 
uh, of innovation, kind of the beginning of a lot of very fertile conversations. Yes, in fact, you know, yesterday, Lynn, we had a program over at UNO at the uh, Thompson Alumni Center. Our speaker was George Tennant, who was the uh, CIA director under <laughs> Bill Clinton yeah. and under George Bush. Wow. I mean, where can you see somebody like that? I mean, yeah. it was it was unbelievable. Yeah, and he was it. very laid back and opened it up to questions. And so, you know, our audience really talked to him about just about anything that was on their mind. It All was right. really terrific. That's amazing. All right, so keep on going here with the boss. Okay, thing. well, again, we try to create new and different opportunities to bring our folks together. Yeah. In addition, we have a newsletter that goes out once a month that kind of highlights the uh, our members on upcoming programming. Uh, David talks sure. a little bit about his his perspective his on personal Omaha. Perspective. Absolutely, his personal perspective. Well, you're a member of Boston. I, I am a I'm member of Boston. And I have to tell you, that's one of the things I kind of look forward to. I, yeah. I, I don't know David real well, and I right. enjoy kind of hearing his commentary, yes. his essays, and how he thinks about the yes. world. That, that's kind of interesting to me. And and that that kind of permeates throughout the entire organization. Does it? Does it really, shape? Oh, well? yes. And then we've got a, a steering committee, which is made up of our boss folks, which helps us plan and and then execute those plans throughout the course of the year. So, real quickly, how many how many members are there, boss? Now, well, right now we have 288. Our okay. goal is to try to get to 300 by the end of the year. Oh well, maybe we can help you get that done. Uh, it would be wonderful. A pleasure to have you on, Jim Butler. Great Thanks, job man. from the Chamber of Commerce here in Omaha, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. We'll be right back with Wild Biz Weekly. We've got a great new guest, a young entrepreneur coming right up. Stick with us.